What's up guys, Dan here with Vittertech, and today we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of new widgets that are coming to macOS Big Sur. Much like on iOS 14, we've got widgets coming that give us quick access to a bunch of features within all of our native apps, as well as some third parties. Let's get into it. Okay, so unlike on iOS 14, with macOS Big Sur, your widgets are going to be tucked away all the way up here within the notification center. Just hit the clock and it'll pull the tray open to show all of your notifications, but also all of your widgets. And there's a ton here you can see. That's just a couple of the ones that are available. By hitting edit widgets, we're able to see the full list. And here's all of the apps that we're gonna go through today. A bunch of big name ones, a bunch of third party ones as well. And we're just gonna go through them one by one. So the first one we're gonna talk about here is Biggin. Now, Biggin is the first CRM to come to the Mac App Store. So launching it here, you can see, just like on any other CRM, a bunch of your tasks, events, and calls that are scheduled with all of your contacts. So you're able to keep in touch with all of your customers, hold all of their information, set custom events for all of them. And of course, that whole experience is going to be enhanced with new widgets. So if we open our widget tray here, and we go over to edit, you can see all of the initial Biggin widgets. So the first one here we have is the activities widget and it keeps track of all of your current activities. I only have one set here for this week and that's my marketing meeting tomorrow at 2 p.m. But you can see we've got a medium one that we can drop in and it also gets larger to show a whole list of all of our events this week. So if this is something you're using often, of course, this would be very valuable to you. The next one we have here is an activities tracker, which tells you everything that you've got going on today. So here we've got one call. Next, we've got all of our tasks that show in just a one by one tile. You can see if we drop that in here, it just goes small into one small tile here instead of spanning the whole width. And then this is a whole activities overview, which shows all four between all activities, calls, tasks, and events. And then we've got a larger widget here, which breaks out even more details as to whose activity is assigned, who they're calling, or what the task is, or what the event is, and when it's happening. So this one's gonna give you a lot more detail at a glance. Now, what I like about all of these is they're kind of like the up next widget that we're used to with the native calendar, which I can show you right here, but it just adds on to that so much more. Rather than just seeing one event, we can split out all of our activities in terms of which action they are, and it just makes it really easy to follow along. Now the native calendar has an up next widget that shows you a small tile, a medium tile, which spans the full width, or again, a large tile. Next, we're moving on to card pointers. Again, this is a third party one that's coming out. So opening card pointers, this is kind of a niche app, but it's gonna be very useful for some people. Essentially, you're gonna be able to add all of your available credit cards in here, and then it's gonna tell you which credit card to use depending on the activity, whether you're doing a car rental, whether it's deals on airlines, shopping at a department store, entertainment, hotels. And it's gonna tell you exactly which card that you should be using to make the most value out of all of your point systems. So diving into the widgets here, we can see that there's a bunch of them. So available offers shows view the offers currently available on your cards and know when they're going to expire. So this is gonna pull in all of your offers. And then if we've got a larger one that shows you exactly when they all expire. So next, if you're questioning which is the best card to use, then you've got this one here. It's going to direct you to the right one based on a specific category. So you can see we've got a small and a large version here. And if we drop that in, we're actually able to edit that to choose which category we're interested in. Here, we've just got last viewed as the default. And next, we've got another best cards category, and it's gonna show you a couple of categories at a glance. That gets larger to show four, or we can enhance into four and just show more details there as well. And next, we've got a card summary, which shows us all of our cards at a glance and when they're set to renew. So if you're a big credit card user or you always wanna get the best deals out of the credit cards that you're using, then Card Pointers is a great app to do it, enhanced with widgets on Big Sur. Next, we've got the clock, and this is a native one by Apple, of course. 
Here we can show one standard clock for a specific time zone, or if you want a world clock, you can show four at a glance here, and they can get larger to just show you more details of the exact area that you're in and the difference in time between where you are right now. So the next one we've got here is hour blocks. And I would say this is one of the most visually appealing ways to see your to-do list on both iOS and macOS. So you're able to set your to-dos throughout the day, just like you would on any other app. And then you're gonna see this beautiful gradient version, which shows you all of the to-dos that are coming up. And you can enhance that again to be larger. And it's just gonna show you all of your bullet points. You can also see your upcoming schedule rather than your to-do list. So if you have specific times allotted within each hour, then that's going to show in here. And next we've got Lookup, which is another third party app, and it's going to show you a word of the day. So if you just want to see the word here, well, that'll show up in your notification center. But if you want more details on what the word actually means, then you can go into medium here, which will give you a bit of a description or large, which is going to show it just in a much more blown up way. So next we've got Money Coach. If you're somebody who's really on top of keeping track of your budgets and your expenses, then this is a great app to do that in real time. Here you're gonna see a widget that keeps track of all of your budgets on a timeline. I don't have any set up right now, but if you did, they would show in this, or you can go larger and see more at a glance. If you have a favorite budget that you wanna track, then you can pin that one here. And if you add it in, you're just able to click on it and you can choose which budget you want. You can also blow that up larger and see a longer timeline of the whole thing. Next, we've got our favorite goal. If we have a specific one that we're counting for, here I've got a new car put in place, or you can make it larger, which shows a little graphic beside it as well. And if you wanna see track of all of your goals, then you can scroll down here and you'll get a full list of either the first one here or you break it out and it'll list all of them in place. And next we've got quick action. So if you need to do a quick entry of some sort of spending, add new income, a new expense, or a new transfer, then you can add this and it'll have all of your quick actions available just a click away. Next we've got News Explorer. So this one's essentially an RSS feed. There's many other apps like it. However, this one looks really great and of course has widget support. So when we open the app, you can see all of your subscriptions here that you can just search for and add if you click on one, it's gonna show you all of the available articles. Click on that and you'll see the full thing in a nice sort of reader styled view. And the same experience comes into your notification center. So if we go to our widgets and we go to News Explorer, you've got a small one which shows you your most recent article. You can break it out medium and show two, or you can break it out into a large and show five articles at the same time. And if you click on the widget, then you're gonna be able to customize that to say, which news you want. Mine's just set to latest news, but there's other options, of course. And you can even change the font if you wanted to change that yourself. Next, we've got Notebook. So if you're somebody who likes to keep track of a lot of notes, then this is a good way to do that. There's one quick action here where you can just tap to open a new note and start writing immediately. You can also get quick access to a specific note if you want to pin that within a tile. You've also got one that shows off all of your recent or your favorite notes. And you can do that either in a medium-sized widget or you can break that out into a large widget. Now next we've got the standard native notes app from Apple. We can show a folder if there's a specific one that we want to get access to, or we've got access to one specific note. Next we've got Parcel, which again is a third-party app, and this one's going to keep track of all of your packages. So you add your tracking number in, and then it's going to send you updates along the way, as well as a visual representation on a map. So here we only have one option, and it's a large tile, but if you add that, you can set your favorite widget to be shown. In my case, it's the brand new MacBook Pro 13-inch M1 model, and here we can see all of the steps it's taken to be delivered. If we scroll down, we can see a summary of all of our latest deliveries if we don't necessarily need the map, and that's in small, medium, or large. Next, we've got a native photos app, and this is just like on the iOS version, where it's gonna show you highlights that Apple deems fit. So if you're somebody who's using photos as your primary app to store all of your photos, then this is a great widget for you. Again, coming in a small, medium, 
or large. Next, we've got podcasts. So here we can see what's up next or what's coming within the podcast app. That happens in small where you see one podcast and the thumbnail for it. We've got a medium, which shows two podcasts, or we've got a large, which is gonna show you a total of four podcasts that you still have to listen to. Next, we've got reminders, which is gonna give you quick access to your favorite reminders list using the Apple Reminders app. We've got a small one, which keeps track of a couple of items for you, a medium, which breaks out four items, or we've got a large, which breaks out even more items in your reminders list, and you can customize which reminders list that is. Next is screen time, also coming in a small, medium, and large, and it's gonna keep track of the activity that you're doing on your device and how much time you're spending on it. The small gives you a quick at a glance, medium breaks out a legend to show you which apps that you're using most often, and then large breaks out the most detail in terms of the categories, the timing, and the specific apps that you're using. Next is SolarWatch. This is a third-party app, and it's gonna keep track of your sunrise and your sunset. We've got an option that shows you your favorite locations, which you can set manually. It happens in a medium size, where we've got two items here showing our sunrise time and our sunset. We can also break out a large one if we have four or more favorite locations. If you're just tracking one single location, well, then there's a great visual representation of that here. Again, that comes in a small, a medium, which shows you more details, and a large to show you an awesome visual representation of the whole dial. And if you just want the solar wheel, then they also have that option here in a small tile size. Next, we've got stocks. Just like it sounds, it's keeping track of your stocks using the native Apple app. You can view an individual stock with this, or you can have a watch list of all of your favorites in a small, medium, or large. Next is time. And again, this is a third party app where you're going to quickly be able to track your time on specific activities. So your favorite time is going to give you a quick action on one specific task. By clicking it, it's going to start the timer and keep track of your time on that task. We have also got an option that's a routine group, which will allow you to select a routine group and keep track of the current time all in a widget. Next is Waterminders, which again is another third party app. This one, obviously, just like it sounds, is gonna keep track of your hydration and how much water that you're drinking. We've got a couple of different visual representations of all of this, ranging in a couple of different sizes. So here we've got our current hydration throughout the day, showing a visual representation of male or female, and it's gonna show blue, and it's gonna get larger as you drink more throughout the day. We've got a medium one, which totally changes the representation here, showing your total and your average of a weekly standard. And then we've got a large, which is gonna show you again, your visual representation and then your quick actions to log water within the widget. We've got another one here, which is gonna show a different visual representation. In this case, we've got a bar that's gonna show you your, present, your percentage and how many milliliters that you've been drinking. We can break that out into large, in which case we get a in which case we get a dial, which again is gonna keep track of our current hydration. Another one we've got here and my personal favorite is a much more bold version of it where it's solid blue. We've got our dial here and it sort of reminds me of something you would have on an Apple Watch to keep track of your hydration. Here we've got another representation of it, which again shows that dial to log our water and the remaining amount left. We've got another one that's just gonna fill our tile all the way up blue as it gets higher and higher. If we break that out into a medium, again, it changes to a longer bar here with quick actions. And then finally, large is gonna show us our most detail with our current water intake, our daily averages, and then more in terms of our total, our average size, our most logged and our goals achieved, or how many days we've had as a streak of hitting our goals. So all of these widgets essentially do the same thing, but have very different styles to them. So you can really just pick your favorite style and go from there. And then finally, we've got the weather widget. This is an Apple stock widget as well, which is gonna keep track of the current forecast in our current location or our favorite location. You have a small tile here, which just shows you the temperature, the highs and lows. We've also got a medium widget here, which breaks out our hourly forecast, 
or we've got a large widget, which is gonna show us our most at a glance with our current temperature, our hourly averages here, as well as the rest of the week at a glance. So that's a look at a bunch of different widgets that are coming to Mac OS Big Sur. They're all available on the App Store right now. Let me know in the comments which you which ones you guys think are the best out of all of these, which ones you're gonna be using on a regular basis, or do you even see yourself using widgets? Given that they're not on the home screen like on iOS, they're sort of tucked away, leaving a lot of people to completely forget about them. I find that if they were on the desktop, I'd be using them more regularly, but I still think they serve a purpose for specific users or specific use cases. Let me know in the comments which ones you guys like the most. As well, remember to hit that subscribe button to see more from me and hit that like button because it tells YouTube that this video doesn't suck. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you in the next one.